prisons have been called black flowers in regard to civilization. There, a mile and a half out in San Francisco Bay, is what until recently has been the blackest flower in the American garden. This is the cave, 336 cells in two massive blocks. Here were penned some of the most ruthless troublemakers of modern times. Even its name, Alcatraz, rings with a dark sound. Rock has always been a lonely place. People have kept their distance. And even when it was used, the loneliness lived with the men who were caged there by steel and concrete and vicious bay earth. Likewise, it's been a place of mystery. Nature shrouds it with a seemingly perpetual fog or haze. From the bay's native Indians came a legend, portraying it as the home of mysterious and evil spirits. And when men made it a cave, they deliberately shed no light on its secrets. But black and lonely and mysterious as Alcatraz may be, it squats out there in the bay a satisfying symbol of strength and security. It has protected our shores and it has fulfilled the primary purpose of all prisons. My name is Charlie Hopkins, number 1186AZ. I'm one of the last men standing from Alcatraz. 